Hello and welcome to the third part of the tutorial series where we'll be making a difficulty chart obby in Roblox. In the last part we made a kill block and a conveyor belt that pushed us back and also killed us when we step on it. And in this part we'll be making a GUI where we'll be able to skip stages for Robux and also go back stages. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the GUI for the skipping stages. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to start a GUI and press the plus. Then we go to screen GUI and let's just call this one stage picker. Let's insert a frame into the starter GUI and let's insert a UI corner to make this look a bit better. You can head over to the UI corner, select the corner radius, and choose something like 30. Which will be quite a circular UI. So we can stretch this out to fit the screen. Head over to plugins, and you, would need, you will need this, uh, you will need this plugin over here. It's called Auto, Auto Scale Light, and I will link this in the description. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go here and select Scale, Offset, Scale, and Offset. And then we will do Add Constraint. And now what we will do is we're going to add, we're going to add a text button. And I'm just going to, um, just going to call this Back Arrow 1. I'm just going to call this Back Arrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to go to head over to text and change it to text wrapped. I'm going to do text scale. Actually, I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to do text scaled. And I'm going to choose rich text. And I'm going to change this text to this, to something like this. I'm going to head over to the fonts and choose something like the luckiest guy. And then I'm going to go up and set the background transparency to one. So now we have the arrow here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another text back. I'm gonna add a duplicate this and I'm just gonna go and change it to back arrow two. And I'm just gonna make everything together. Remember to not add any spaces or else it'll be much more complicated, the script. So now I'm going to select back arrow 2 and I'm going to change the text to two of these and I'm just going to move it over here. So I'm going to do the same for the other side. Alright, so I'm done with these. You can do this however you like. It's up to your choice, but now I'm going to add a text over here in the frame. I'm going to do a text label and I'm going to change call and I'm going to change this to stage number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the middle of here and I'm just going to write. I'm just going to write any text. This will not be seen by the player, but. It's just for us to know what the text is. So I'm just going to remove the background right now. Change this. Change this. Change the font to something like luckiest guy again. And I'm just going to put it over here. And move these back here. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. So now we have our stage buttons. And... So first thing I'm going to do is the basic thing, which is changing the number of the stage. So what, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to add, press the plus and I'm going to add a local script. And I'm just going to and I'm just going to name this stage number shower. I'm going to delete the first line here. All right. So now we're going to make it so that it shows what we have. So we're going to do local stage is equal to. And then we're going to do game dot players dot local player dot leader stats dot stage script dot parent dot text is equal to stage dot value to string 
that we're going to do stage the value and then stage dot changed connect function value and now script dot parent dot text is equal to stage dot value so now if we click play and we test this out we can see that it shows one so it means we're on stage one and now if we click stage two it will show that we're on stage two but if we go back to stage one it won't change and now let's just head over to stage three now we can see it changes to stage three and now we go to stage four and we can see that it goes to stage four so now we have the x that shows what stage we're on and now we're going to make it so that we can go back stages so that we could and we could also skip stages so before i do that i'm going to make a noise that will play every time we skip every time we go to a new stage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to toolbox and go to audio and i'm just gonna find a nice tick sound all right so i found a sound so i'm just gonna press stage number and i'm gonna press insert and that inserts the sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to sound. And now I'm going to do it here. And I'm going to go here. And, I, and I'm going to go here. And I'm going to write script.parent.sound play. So now if we test this out. We can see that if we go to a new stage the sound will play. So yeah. So now we have a sound that plays every time we get a new stage. So now let's make the skipping so that these arrows would work. Also, I forgot to just make this frame transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to 1. So now let's make it so that we can move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And I'm going to create a new local script. I'm going to call it stage mover. I'm going to delete the first line. I'm going to do local player is equal to game.players.local player. And now I'm going to do local name is equal to player.name. And then I'm going to do local play, local character equal to player.character. And I think it's better to do local character is equal to player wait for child character so now we will do local maximum stage this is for these buttons so that we can go to the last stage and the first stage so we're going to do local maximum stage so go to game dot workspace dot checkpoints get children and then we're gonna do and i'm gonna do an equals and don't forget to add a hashtag and this basically gets the length of all the children and finds the maximum so it basically we have since we have four checkpoints it will return four so now we will create a new function move to stage and i'm gonna create a local current stage is equal to player dot is equal to game dot replicated storage player dot name dot value and now if i do local current checkpoint is equal to game dot workspace dot checkpoints find first child to string Current stage, and now we do local checkpoint position is equal to current ch current checkpoint dot position. And now, if we do local x pause is equal to current position checkpoint position dot x. And local y pause 
is equal to checkpoint position dot y and local z pause is equal to checkpoint position dot z so now if we do local tp position is equal to c frame dot new we'll do x pause y pause and z pause and also don't forget to add the offset in the y pause so that we don't no clip through the ground and now we will do player dot character dot humanoid root part dot c frame is equal to tp position and also don't forget to do wait for child humanoid root part because it might try to find a humanoid root part before we even load in and that'll be a problem because it won't be able to find it so now we will do script.parent dot back arrow and now i'm going to do script dot parent dot back arrow dot mouse button one down connect function and now i'll do and now i'll do local current stage is equal to game dot replicated storage player dot name dot value and now i will do if current stage dot minus one is larger than zero then current stage dot value is equal to current stage dot that and i'm going to do current stage dot value is equal to is plus equal to one and now i'll do move to stage so now we will do else and i will now we'll use the print function to say that we cannot you cannot move stage and the player won't see this but yeah so now let's just now let's just see this and also i was gonna do minus equals one not plus equals one all right, so before we test this, I realized that I made a mistake over here. And I realized we made a mistake here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this and I'm going to do local character is equal to game.workspace. Wait for child to string player. And the problem is uh, to string name. And this is because local scripts will not get the player from the workspace. It'll just get the player from the players. And so the script will not find any character to move. And also remember to remove value because that's also a problem because we already wrote value. Okay, so I did some minor tweaks here. So instead of writing value here, I wrote value here and that seemed to fix the code. Okay, so let's check this out. So now I can't move back because I'm on the first stage. And if we go to the second stage, we can now move back. We can't go forwards yet because we didn't do that code, but we will do that soon. And now if I go to the third stage and I go back, I'll go back and I'll go back. So it works perfectly. Okay, so now we're going to make these arrows, this arrow work. And what this arrow does is it's going to move us very far back instead of one level 10 levels so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do if current so we're gonna do grip.parent.b back arrow 2 dot mouse button 1 down connect function and then i'm gonna do local current stage is equal to game replicated storage player dot name and then I will do and then I will do if current stage dot value minus 10 is larger than zero then player 
current stage dot value minus equals 10. And then we do move to stage. And this won't work right now because we do not have 10 stages. But once you will add 10 stages, it will work perfectly. And I'll show this once I finish everything off and I'll make more stages. And you will you can make the stages however you want, but I'll just make them in my way. And you can do them however you want, just using this code. So now I'll do else print cannot move and stages. And now if we, and now we'll do the same, but for going forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do script up here dot forward arrow dot mouse button one down connect function. And then I will do local current stage game dot replicated storage player dot name. And then I will do if current stage the value plus one is is smaller or equal to max stage. And then and then we do then player and we do current stage dot value plus equals one and move to stage. So now let's check this out if this works, which it should. I also forgot to do something else because if we would not add this, we would be able to move forward without even reaching the stage. So we'll be skipping stages infinitely. So then we do and current stage dot leader stat and, the, and then we do and current stage is plus one is smaller or equal to Clear dot leader stats dot stage dot value then and also let's write else print and not move forward. So now we'll see that when we spawn in and we press the forward button, we cannot move. Hold on. I also forgot to add dot value over here. So current stage dot value. So now if we try this out. We will see that when we move forward, we cannot move forward. We cannot move backwards. But now let's reach stage two. And let's even reach stage three. And now that we reach stage three, we can move back. We can move forward, but we can't move to stage four because we haven't reached it yet. So now if we move, move to stage four, we can move back, we can move forward. So yeah, it works perfectly. So now let's do this for the pen as well. So let's just copy this, paste it, and just change this to front. So let's just copy this and let's paste it. Let's just add a two here then just add a 10 and add a 10. So that's it. And that's how we make the skipping stages. All right, I'm going to end the video here because it's getting a little bit too long, but make sure, make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like these. I'll release part three soon where we'll be making the data store service and also a skip stage button that we will be able to buy for Robux. So make sure to like and subscribe to see it. And yeah, so in this video, we made a functional GUI where we're able to go back and forward across our obby from the stages that we unlocked.